And welcome back to Venomous Cat's channel. Today we have something a bit different that I will be doing more than one of. There's our new spokesperson, Waldo. And he brought in the mail for me. So you can see, here's the mail. And let's open it. And dinosaurs. Lots of dinosaurs. Let's see which one I should do first. You. You're not my favorite type of dinosaur. But I'm going to do you anyway. So here we have an orange T-Rex. I'm not sure if the hero masters are made by um, Hasbro or if it's a different company. But it has a big head with big, really big teeth. Teal eyes. Big nose because T-Rex actually has a good sense of smell. Relatively large arms for a T-Rex. And the I think the ta some of the arm length might want to be switched out for the tail length to make the tail longer and the arms not as long. Really big legs so that it's sturdy. Opening and closing jaw. These can actually be mixed with other parts. And here's another part. I think this piece actually came with the T-Rex. That's interesting. So, we move over. There's Waldo. Hi, Waldo. In his glasses, because he likes to wear glasses, even though he's not blind. Those are sunglasses, Waldo. Next, we have a definitely Hasbro Jurassic World. These are all Jurassic World, by the way. Mosasaurus. Relatively small, uh, large mouth. I think I have something in here that, yep, came with it. A submarine which can shoot and injure the mosasaur. There's the sub, I think there's a human in it. If you press, hold on. If you press this button here, it opens and there's a little person who is in the mosasaur enclosure and he's not being very smart. Because he just got out of his sub and, well, bye, Moza. Yeah, that's kind of, I have nicknames for all of them. Except the raptors, because the raptors already have names. Hmm. This, here we have a hybrid and chylosaur. It looks like there's a healed wound here. It has a grayish color with purple spots. And it, hidden in those spots is the JW symbol. Small head with small mouth. If you tilt the leg one way, the tail moves. The tail with too many spikes. Because this is the hybrid version. And uh, if you tilt it the other way, the head moves. Yeah. And then Kylesaur, it looks like it's panicking because there's a predator coming. Maybe it's a T-Rex. Nope. It's a raptor. This is just a, this is a Euromasher raptor. It's red, has big claws, pretty accurately sized. It's a, it's a really bright red. Mm, well, these here masters have teal eyes. Maybe just the carnivores, or I'm not sure. Mm, a small mouth with small teeth. Still sharp. Big things on its head. Long legs for running and chasing down your prey, and if you're in taking place in Jurassic Park, chasing down humans. Yeah. JW symbol there in black. All red all over. And I think it's after that Kylosaur. You should be careful. Here we have the alpha of the raptor pack, blue. Missing toe claws like all the ones in the set. But that is okay. Because I think this illuminates a pattern on her back. It should. Maybe it's out of battery, though. It might be out of battery. Yeah, it's out of battery. But usually, you could see a nice blue pattern on the back of her long arm. She's very angry. She looks like she's brushing her teeth every, like, week. Because they're dinosaurs. 
Uh, I don't think this works on the other raptors I've tried. I think this only works with blue. Moving on, we have Delta, who's very frisky. She has a uh, removable t all the dinosaurs are girls, by the way. By frisky, I mean she, like, bounces around a lot like a cat. By the way, there's a pretty well in detail tongue. Yellow eyes. Not as angry. Big, really big arms. Legs again. No. Oh, she is brown with blue stripes. The blue's that. That's a nice blue. The blue is a bit greenish on the nose. Looks like kind of like a turquoise going down there. Yeah, there she is. She's Jordan Blue. Now, oh, here's this one has the same beautiful parts as the other and Kyle sort of hybrid one. This is the regular. I think this is the same kind of bold as the other one. This one is actually red with what the white bones. So do you see the armor, the tail club, the small bout, the brow, the light grayish brown with the dark brown spots? Yeah. A lot of armor, good for protection. They said Kyle Sora's wish less armor. Hero Master, probably so you could put pieces here. There's a t small mouth, characteristic. Pretty big legs. And the tail club for defending itself against predators. Little known fact, this tail club could actually break a T-Rex's skull. Sort of pretty safe for predators. Although, it, if you saw in the movie, spoil R, it has no effect on the Adomnus other than angering it. Here we have a hybrid who also seems to have survived an attack as well. Claw marks here, a bull like horns, a protoceratops like frill. It actually kind of looks like a bull here. Brown, it has dagobizer spikes, and, which is what they're called. Head of a trike, the rest, however, is, uh, yeah. Now, if I push down the tail, it moves the head forward. As if it's charging, the head moves side to side. Amber eyes, be small beak, used for chomping up plants. Let's see your close cousin. By close cousin, I mean a creature used to make the hybrid. Here's a triceratops. Hero Masher, nice turquoise. Turns out they, most Hero Mashers do have turquoise eyes, but since this one actually is turquoise, it has more of an orangey uh, eye that looks exactly like the color of amber. It's pretty aggressive. I think this comes with Stegosaur parks, parts, which I don't see in there. It has nice big hordes, a frail, a tail with some spikes here. Yeah, this looks pretty realistic by just all these spikes of the tail. Really big head. The head is seven feet long on a real one. Yeah. Big horns for defending itself against attackers. In reality, a T-Rex, or in the case of Jurassic Park, a Baryonyx, or a Carnotaurus. We have a different, here we have a different version of Blue, who does have claws, and... What kind of per what person decided to put a gun on a raptor? Look, it could hurt someone. Alright, Waldo's not happy with you, Blue. Now yeah, let's see how you look like with that gun off. So, if you push the tail down, she gets angry. Right? Yep, there's a camera here, as you saw in the movie. The yellow eyes, a darkish brown with the stripes are normally blue, but it's really hard to do that on a toy. So yeah, another member of the raptor pack. Oh, and she brought the youngest of the raptor pack as well. This is this one's Echo. It's, she's yellow with green stripes. Most of these raptors don't brush their teeth except blue. She has amber eyes, green stripes on a yellow body. Long tail for balance, again, no claws, big arms. Yeah, this one, not my favorite raptor in the actual pack, my favorite's blue. But uh, toy wise, I like this one the best. This one's Charlie, the youngest. Yellow eyes, not real brushed well teeth. 
black stripes on dark green body, and a small mouth. This one seems like the least aggressive out of pack. Interesting. Oh, and speaking of your Charlie, here's a Lego version of Charlie. Much smaller, has claws, mouth opens, there's a tail. Yeah, the Lego ones always seem to be way bigger than they should be. This one's no different. I don't have a Lego guy with me at the moment, but if I did, I would show you the size comparison and how shockingly big this is. Now, I think there's another one in here. Yep, there it is. It's blue. Blue is also in here. Blue to Lego Raptor. Oh, Hi, everyone. Mm. There we go. There's blue. The pieces are rather loose on her because she's pretty old. As the movie came out in 2015, so 2015 and 16 was when all the toys were coming out, and that was like three or four years ago, so, yeah. And you can't buy these anymore, sadly. You can find them on eBay. If you use a eBay, you can find them there. This one, you can better see the blue stripe going down her, giving her her name. She has a similar body shape to Charlie. She has good friends with... Owen Grady, her trainer, and the green, mostly green, this is a really nice green, yeah. We have another hero masher, a dinosaur that didn't appear in the movie, Spinosaurus. They had no plans to make this one in the movie because it was in Jurassic Park 3, the previous movie. But, the Stegoceratops you saw earlier, yep, this one, was actually originally going to be in the movie. But they, I don't know why, but they didn't end up putting it in. Which I guess the Adolphus has enough hybrids. So yeah, there's the Spinosaurus. This neck piece can be used in a lot of builds. You could mix them however you want, but I like to use this to make them uh, their head able to stretch out more. Frankly, this looks really weird without the neck. A short tail, big colorful fit, agile legs, big claws. Yeah. Here we have a T-Rex, mostly correct, except, I don't know what the chicken noise is, coming from the T-Rex, yellow eyes, pretty realistic head, mouth, the problem is the arms, no, the arms are way too big and there's three fingers, not two, but that's okay, because I think they used a similar mold for the uh, Indominus Lego, which also has three fingers. And here's the Indominus Lego right here. Now, if you wonder why sometimes you pauses with these Lego ones, it's because the heads could come up, could be very loose. Red eyes, characteristic of the Indominus. I think I saw a bigger one in there. Large claws, yeah. Here is a Dimetrodon. Red eyes for some reason. Purple, orange stripes. Really small wigs. I don't know what it used this club for. Maybe it's like a birds, but not closely related to birds. Mostly a scavenger. Although in the movie, it did eat people. And it, it nearly got eaten by the Irex. Here's another Hasbro dinosaur with movable parts. It has an injury again. Why do all these herbivores have injuries? It's a packy. The head moves. A small arms. All characteristic features, yellow with black stripes, interesting color pattern, kind of like a bee actually, 